G'day fellas and welcome back. We're doing it one more time. This is the last time I swear I'm ever gonna do this FFA challenge and look at this We got ourselves already a beautiful little dock placement down here So first things first I'm just gonna start off by setting my villagers into every single corner of this map. I need to know exactly where Let's let's actually let's put a town center down first. Let's start that uh, But I need to know where all the bodies of water are and so naturally what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go searching for them We might bring this vill up over here uh, to ooh, I feel like we're up in the mountains over here though uh, But uh, one of the big things I want to look to do is try and take mass amounts of water this game And I want to find every little bit of pond that I can. Oh my lord. It's absolutely beautiful I haven't seen anything like that before But it looks like red has found us with Red finding us, there's a chance that uh, he he'll be putting the town center down pretty close to us. So we want to make sure that we're at... Oh, I don't like this. Oh, there's the king. Where's he putting that TC? Red, you stay away. This is my water. I can see the other side of it here. So, and that's the thing about water is you never really know. You never really know with water. Um, we're moving out here pretty far with our starting villages. Maybe we should loop back. Uh, but... This one's doing work, right? Like, he, this one's going to be fine. And over here, I mean, the town center is going to come up. It's just going to be slowly. The the one thing that, I've, that I'm have that i thinking about is that there's diminishing returns on each of these villages anyway. I mean, at this point, it's pretty low, right? The diminishing returns. You know, the difference between uh, double speed on the town center is two villages versus four villages. Um, so you're missing out on a fair bit, I guess, from these early villas, but not a huge amount. And by the time it would take him to get back there... Probably not that big of a difference. So anyway, let's right-click in the corner, see what we can find. Um, interestingly, you can kind of tell, like, it looks like this might be a low area right here. Wait, can I tell where there's water? I've got a feeling that I probably could, that I probably could which would be wild. <gasps> it's getting low. How low can you go? So it looks like there's a second pond that's up here as well. So we'll be take, taking a look at that. We've got Blue over here. Hey, Blue, how's it going, man? Do I just give him a little bit of a stab to let him know that I know? It, it could be possible. It could it could work. Uh, so let's start by going on the straggler. Ah, no, 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 no. No, 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 blue, don't hurt me. Now, one of the big things that we're going to be looking to do here in this game is take out the Order of the Dragon players early. We want to get rid of them. We want to take them out. Uh, the Holy Roman Empire players as well, because if we let them get to late game, it's going to be nigh impossible. Speaking of impossible, where's that town center? It's right there. Let's see if we can squeeze around here. I think we should be able to. Uh, but it's going to be impossible to take them out in the late game because the idea is that we're playing Dark Age Challenge, which means that with the Dark Age Challenge, we're going to be staying in the Dark Age as for the entirety of the game. Um, and if we can't take them out in the Dark Age, well, then we lose the game. Um, and what happens is they get access to a very special technology that increases their armor or their base armor for their keeps. They put the king in a keep and then we can't kill the king uh, because we do 10 damage to their keeps and their keeps have 10 armor. So we do one damage a pop. So that's what we've got to be very careful of. And that's why we look to try and take them out early here. We want to allow all the other players to live. Bro, please. Just, just for that, I'm going to kill your sheep. Just because you did that, I'm going to kill your sheep. If, if you had just allowed me to walk past... Hey, man. Hey, man. You hit me first. This is your own fault. It's your own fault, mate. Oi. Oh, I think we got an Aussie server. This is a good thing. We like being on the Australian server. Uh, it, it means that we've got low ping. Uh, but it, Where's that Khan? Where's that Khan? I, I could do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Sorry, yellow. Yellow, I don't know who you are. I don't know where you're from, but I know that you're Holy Roman Empire and I want every chance in this game that you do not be successful. I agree. Doi. 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 You gotta just hit him with the doies. Uh, I don't know whether we managed to take that out. Oi, says purple. Uh, Khan, Khan should be coming in soon. Hopefully. Khan, where you at? Let's go check with our king. I, I just want to know. I want to know... Because maybe he sends out another scout. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Oh, yes, yes. No, 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 no. What? No. No, not like this. We lost a bill. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. I'm never going to be using these sheep, but, you know, it's 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 kind of important to... Dude, my, my early game here has been so off. I think I'm really tilted. I've been playing a lot of these Dark Age challenges, and... Hey, <laughs> hey, yellow. Hey, man. Oh, sucks to be you, doesn't it? Mm. Where did all those sheep go? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I, I've got no idea where they went. I know. We'll probably keep him here for a little bit longer. 
I don't see anybody here on... Dude, if, if we have this entire pond to ourselves, this could actually be the game. So that's a Mongol player right there. We really want to leave him alone. We want him to leave us alone as well, but... Oh, every single game, I, I feel like we've had a, a very tough time here. So let's go scout this corner. Maybe Imagine if the corner, this corner down here was the corner that actually had like the water pond. The water pond. The pond of water. So let's get a second one in here because we can definitely afford to do it. There, there is so much in here. Uh, we can probably even just branch out like this. That's fine early on. That's looking big. I don't like the turn that that took. Hello. It's good timing. Orange. So this is another one of our targets that we want to focus down. Training these early vills has not been my strongest suit. I'll say that much. Let's put this down here. Let's get you guys over onto that. Call you guys control group three. And do we put another dock over here? Probably a mistake this early. Almost definitely a mistake this early. So annoying. So, so annoying. Let's get our lumber chopping upgrade in. So, Pink might look to pick a fight with us, so we should just be careful. I, I don't know if Pink knows that we're here. Yellow definitely knows that we're here. <laughs> Sorry, Yellow. You deserved it. I mean, you can't you can't just be picking the Holy Roman Empire and expect to for, for things to just be okay. Not okay at all. Alright, so we've got ourselves quite a nice little position down here. I wish the town center was a little bit closer, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, he, Pink is over here. I should ask Pink if he wants peace. I mean, you never trust... You, you, you probably... You know what? I'm not going to even do it. I'll just scout him. I'll scout him. I'll see what he's up to. Uh, and then from there, we'll decide. Uh, we've got Kurtzel, who is the blue player, reaching feudal. This guy is going to be someone to watch. Uh, we need to definitely get a hit squad on him. I need to make sure I don't lose momentum. We've got the age up already coming through from yellow. I didn't even realize that. He's going for a fast castle. That's three, four vills, five vills, and, and a mining camp. Why do you need a mining camp there, bro? Like, you already have CF, CF water at all. Oh, he's just... Is he not... Thanks, bro. I don't even want these. Do you reckon if I give these as a donation to Pink? Pink? Can I give you a deal? Hopefully he understands what I mean by this. I give the sheep. You give me the peace. He'll understand what I mean, right? For sure. It, it actually sucks. Okay. Oh, he said okay. All right. Okay. I send now. So, I don't want to get too close over here to Yellow, because then he's... Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Yellow! Because uh, then he'll know about my expansion that I've got going on here. And I, I want to avoid him knowing about that. Um, can I? No, that's that's the best I can do. Dude, why, whenever I try and put it down, they immediately start walking. I don't know. I, I don't know how I always time it. Like, I'm watching it, and there's nobody walking. And then the moment I, I like, pack it up and try and put it down... There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. All right. How many fishing boats are we on? We're on 24 fishing boats. I, I feel like that's probably enough here. Um, so our first target is going to be yellow for sure. Uh, Holy Roman Empire, close to us, knows about our water. Um, big threat uh, for us, 100%. So we got to go deal with that immediately. So we'll stop making fishing boats right now. Volcano was also aged up. That's going to be our red player. So maybe let's go and see if we can scout him. Let's make ourselves another... Stable right here. For anybody wondering about Uvu, not really interested in it. Don't really need it. Um, water start as well, so not that important. Uh, most important thing for me is just going to be making sure I've got lots of production out here. So that's what we're going to do. 
nothing down here by the looks of it. Let's go over this side and have a look. I was going to make more, but I said, you know what? We don't need it. We don't need it. Not right now. I mean, I could make more though. I don't really mind it. Let's have a look. We'll see if our wood starts to, to pile up. We just want to make more stables, I think, right? Let's go down. Dude, there's nobody down here. Look at that. If there's a sheep there that I'm just grabbing, like, everyone's going to be topside. Have I got myself a good spawn this game? I should probably just put this here. Fuck my life, dude. Okay, do I go one more? Hey, hey, hey. We're just, we're just friendly. Orange. So we go yellow, then orange, then convince pink to attack blue. Because we're, we're Mongol bros. Maybe I kill pink. He does kind of look a little bit sus down there. So we can, we can afford here to throw down more stables. Let's do it. Get you guys in here nice and deep like. I've definitely got the ability to throw down more production here. It's a good little wood line that we've got actually on this hill. 11 minutes in. This is definitely the best start we've ever had when it comes to the Mongols. And going for this kind of early strategy. I could also look to get in a little bit of... Um, get a little bit of scouting going in. When I say a little bit of scouting, I mean, like, just making some scouts. Okay. That's what the Gur should do. The Gur should put down a blueprint before it sets itself down so that people don't get in the way. That would make so much more sense, dude. Alright, keep it keep it going. Oh, we're, you're not getting made. Let's make you. Oh, now we want to move our town center out here. Oh, TC snipe is a big problem. Um... Do I put outposts up, maybe? Maybe I could do, like... Maybe I could move my town center back here and then throw outposts around it. No one's age three yet, so I don't really have to worry that hard about it. Dude, we've we got a pretty decent economy, not gonna lie. This is feeling very, very good. So how many horsemen do we go with? Oh, he's on water now. Okay, so we probably want to stop making fishing boats from this one. And I'm gonna move this villager over here as well. We'll just leave him down here for now. I'm going to hand this in and scout that out. Let's go have a... Oh. And this one. And this one. Cool. We're covered. Oh, God, I wasn't even paying attention. Didn't realize we had all, this, all of this stacked up. Okay. Makadoosh Warfer. <laughs> Macadouche Wafer has aged up. That's a good name. That's a good name. I I'm going to call my next son that. For sure. That is that is a wonderful name. Alright, so we continue. Uh, this is my last vill here. Now that he's aged up. We go and we put it down here. And we're going to go take the king and put it, him in there as well. We could just go like somewhere... The problem is I can't even get arrow slits, right? So it's like, you know, even putting... You just kind of want all your villagers around there so that they can all hop inside and shoot at the stuff. That's pretty much it. Asp.net8. This guy down here. Okay, all right. He's up here. He's aggressive. But the longer we let him cook, the better, right? Because he thinks he's kind of... He thinks he's just chilling. Now, have we got food around here? Oh, we do have food. Let's go take that. And let's go take this. And let's take this opportunity to move our girls down here. We jump inside, Mr. King. Okay. And we're just going to keep making more scouts. Oh, I heard a relic get picked up, but I don't... He picked it up. There, Orange picked up the relic. Curse now aging up as well. That's going to be our Ottoman player. I didn't even know we had an Ottoman player in this game. 
Oh, I just realized. We have uh, we have sheep. We have sheep. We can eat the sheep. Hell yeah, dude. Can we eat the deer as well? Damn, dude. But we are going to want... Do we do we max out 200-200 and then just go killing... <gasps> Maybe that's the play. Maybe that's the play and I just didn't realize. Okay, you know what? We've got enough. We've got enough of those. We go max 200-200 and then we go kill them. <gasps> Eliminated. Who was it? Jean Dark player. <sighs> so we go this guy, then this guy... Which one do we take out first? I feel like we take out Orange first, because he's in the back here, and I don't like his position. This guy, he's kind of in the middle, right? Like, I can come around from any angle. <sighs> oh! Wait, the two John Dark players killed each other. I didn't even realize we had two John Dark players in the game, but I guess I'm only paying attention to the Order of the Dragon players. Dude, look at the production that we've got here. Our food is kind of crazy. Uh, Castle Age now coming through. That's going to be for the Mongol player. Oh, I, I just want... I want to go. I want to go, but... The, the more units that we have, just the better. The better it is, the more units we have. So where are we coming in from? We're just going to come in from here and just hit the TC. Oh, let's send us a couple of scouts out, of course. Did you just, did you just demo ship me? Everybody hand in quickly. No, no, no lag right now, please. Get out of there. No. <laughs> we have a vill to repair, dude. How big is your brain, Drongo? Wait, do we really only get one scout out of this? A single scout to lead the way. Alright, that'll do. Okay. We're in the stealth forest. You gotta be quiet. Scout will lead the way. Run, run, run. Hand in. Hundred and seventeen. Walls. Just see if we can confirm king location. There's the king. Oh, don't mind me, friend. Just here for the, the nice view. Let's get ourselves a little bit more wood in the bag. That is the weirdest pathing I've ever seen, but if you guys want to go up the hill, go up the hill. I got some spears at the back here. I like my chances. Does have emergency repairs in play here. Ciao. King. Next up. Yellow. What is this? Karazi. Dude, I'm kind of glad I went for him. Like, look at this. Imagine trying to come into here. Look at this stupid shit, dude. Okay, can I just right-click this town center and you guys will actually path? Yeah, there you go. You right-click the town center and they actually fucking path. Dude, look at that. Look at the difference. One, 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 one. Then this. Green die. Kill him. No. I don't have phone. That way. Nice. Nice. Tell me that was who I think it was. Yes, it was, dude. Now, okay, I will say this. I am scared of pink. I'm really scared of pink. He knows where my shit is. Do I take him out first? Oh, I 
kind of want to get over here. I don't like this at all. Let's go take his spot. Let's keep our units nearby. Oh shit, yellow's Imperial. Hmm. Transport ship. Just kind of scared of pink, that's all. Okay, transport ship is out. I think we need a few more stables as well. Let's go. Fuck. Shit. Oh shit, Lange connect. Emergency repairs. I feel like we're getting eaten on this side here. Just focus it, just focus it. F fuck me. Dude, he's just too strong, dude. Elite spears. He's got like 12 elite spears, dude. Oh man, this is this is not possible, dude. <laughs> it's not possible. If there's a single Order of the Dragon player or Mon or um Holy Roman Empire player in the game, it's just it's not possible. I'm calling it now, dude. Uh, we've just thrown all of our units away. We need to go hit red. Like I'm not allowing this. I'm not allowing you to fucking threaten my water economy. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Jesus Christ, bro. It's John Dark. He's only on water to try and get access to my king, which is, is of course, the right call. So we're just going to make sure that we get on out of here. He's running knights up the side to go get access. There's the galley. All right. Uh, this, you know, the crazy thing is if this is the perfect start, you know, how is it, how is it possible? How is it genuinely possible to do? I don't think it is. He had the L's back as well, which was giving him like extra health through that. I got no idea what is in this area. He's gonna kill the transport ship. New Khan has risen. Villager? I want my Khan. Here we go. Pink. Let's let's convince Pink. We need to take out Yellow. He's so strong. Now my whole water economy is just gonna get destroyed here. Oh man, this game is so hard. Uh, we need to transition to... Oh, let's stay away from that. There's purple. Holy shit. Oh god. Holy moly. 
Maybe we just... That's not the right way. That is not the right way. Blue, 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 blue space, blue space. We need to convince Yellow has seven relics. We need to convince everybody else to come together to take down Yellow. If we... If Yellow is taken out... Wait. Don't... Okay, we want to go there. So I just go snipe Red out right now. Mm, here. <sighs> why did the king not just go this way? King, why did you not just go that way? Fuck my life, dude. Alright, pink, take it, take it, pink. Take it, pink. Take it, pink. Pink, take it, pink. Run. Good boy, good boy, pink. Alright, we'll take it, we'll take it. Oh, why did he go that way, though? I- I- I told- did... Oh, there were stone walls. Wait. There were stone walls. That's why he didn't go that way. He was smart enough. He knew. He knew. He knew there were stone walls. Whose stone walls were they, though? I can't determine. Okay, we gotta go look at that one. Um... Dude, I, I, I don't know. I- I feel like you have to take them out early, and then if they get Imperial, like... What the fuck can I do against that Elspeth, dude? I genuinely don't know. Alright, let's hope that- I, I saw a lot of Western names there, so I, we should be okay with that one. Uh, we're at about, what, 26, 27 minutes? Okay, is there- there's literally no games before that? It- okay, there, there are our games. This one? Nope. This one? Yep, that's it. We got it. All right. So I think that's about as perfect as it comes, right? The the only way that I could make this more perfect is like, please stop being like, wh why is my lobby always 50%? Like th three eighths to four eighths, Holy Roman Empire slash Order of the Dragon. Like you just make it so much harder with this. It's, 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 so, it's, so, it's so impossible. Look, no Chinese, no juicy legacy. You would think that those civilizations aren't even in the game, dude. All I'm seeing is Holy Roman Empire and Order of the Dragon. It's so hard. Gosh, this is... <laughs> that that was about as perfect as it comes, though. I'll be honest. And I think that that's the right play. You want to hit them with as much momentum as possible. So maxing out... Uh, let's mute my uh, in-game sound here as well. Just because when you 8x everything, then you cannot hear... Uh, or you, you cannot... Uh, you hear a lot. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, a little... Big, big mistake right here from, uh, from Yellow not to take the water. This is such a good spawn for him as well. Uh, looks like we've got a couple of players down here. Okay, so no wonder these two went out so early. So Teal was stuck between red and orange, so not a favorable position. There's only one gold to fight over, but he does have a second backup gold. So all he needs to do is tower this gold, and red's going to be in a really bad spot. But red is just going to come in and tower the gold and secure it for himself, uh, which basically, you know, dooms Teal in the end. So unfortunate for him there. Uh, does lose... This okay, you know, you can just go to this one. Uh, that one's fine as well. Um, but yeah. Okay, so Blue's got a good spawn, but by far the best spawn in this game is going to be uh, Purple, who quite literally has about 40% of the map to himself. Uh, so definitely goes into the late game being a favorite, though to be fair, the Mongol player did just pick up a second kill, and he's not playing the Dark Age challenge, so that will give him a huge advantage. I think we did a really good job there to find the only water on the map, and so that, I'm going to give myself a nice little credit there, uh, because if you take a look here, uh, I don't remember where the villager went, did did we start off? We must have started off pretty close to the water. Um, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I, th I think actually now that I think about it, we did start off on the water. So very, very lucky there because you never really know with these maps. And fortunately, no one else was really interested in the water. Like Red knows that we're here, but Red's got bigger fish to fry, right? Like he's focused here on the other Jean d'Arc player. Uh, but for us, we're just going to continue to build up. And Yellow actually scouts us out. He sees exactly what's happening. And see, this is the thing where it's like, I feel like right now, like Yellow is just 100% just going Imperial, right? Like, he's not really playing... Like, uh, this is where I could... I feel like I could snipe him, right? Like, let's say I marched in right now. Hypothetically. Hy hypothetically. If I march in with seven early horsemen, they do 10 torch damage. Um, and his town center has got zero f versus fire. He's got... 
spears that he can make out of the Burgrave, and he's got a fair bit of food. So basically for the next... Like, he's just pumping out a spear every three seconds, right? Like, I, I could go for that. Where is he? What is he doing? Where's he going with these? Okay, fair enough. A bit weird. Fair enough, though. Uh, so we do see the king will get sniped off by red here. And those stone walls, stone walls were from blue. Uh, so that's apparently where it went. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's always tough with the Mongols. You know, if, if you put... You can throw it in the town center, the, um, the the king, but I felt like it was only a matter of time until Pink just came in and picked us off. But I mean, I, I had agreed with Peace and he was quite happy with that. We just chilled. I gave him that donation of sheep, which I feel like is probably a strategy we could totally use more often, especially when doing this. Like you donate sheep to someone and... and ask for peace like they're gonna if you ask for peace for someone they're probably not gonna give it to you but if you give them something and then say hey would you like peace now they're probably like yeah you know it's the classic case of like you remember playing Civ 6 and you, you give them you, you they will accept a peace treaty or more likely to accept a peace treaty with you okay so let's say at this stage pause 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 stop it thank you yeah we should have attacked yellow bro Look at this. He he literally got Imperial right as we come online. Oh, you hate to see it. I mean, this one, did it feel close? It kind of felt a little bit close. How many horsemen are there? 112 horsemen. It's not close at all, right? Like, th this is not close at all. And now the Els... Oh, dude, that Elsback fucking timing, dude. Oh my god, we were... Oh, wait. Oh, I did that stupid thing when I waited, right? Like, I just should have gone after him. I should have just hit 200 pop and then just gone straight for it. Dude, if I just right-click right then... Oh, I won the game, dude. I actually won the game. These are just palisade walls. I just destroy them easily. Come in, snipe the king. Where you at? You're probably in the main town center, aren't you? Yep, there you are. No surprises there. I 100% won this game, dude. I just had to click on the town center. Look at this. It would It's over 100%. Like, the L's back just gets up now. And remember, the, the Elsback is now going to provide that bonus to 33% less damage. So now I'm I'm only doing... So what what is it? It works out to be like six torch damage, seven torch damage probably. And uh, uh, sure, I wait for more horsemen to help out and I, I kind of guard this guy in. I'm, uh, the main thing I'm scared about is just, you know, wh why is why are there three villagers and a Gur down here that are gathering? I, oh, maybe he was looking for deer. I think he was trying to go for the deer because I'd taken the deer. Oh, that is so painful, dude. And now, so he's got like a full bit of spears because he's scouted me out pretty well. He's already got the elite upgrades. So we're going to run past here. Obviously, we don't go for the L's back. I probably could have baited the L's back. Nah, see, there's no point. There's absolutely no point. So we come in here now. And yeah, you can see that we're not doing 10 damage. Uh, so he's doing significantly or taking significantly less damage now because of that. On top of that, emergency repairs comes through. We're still getting through the emergency repairs. But remember, he's got a uh, lanch connector and spears in here. I'm pretty sure there's a lanch connector in, in here somewhere. Just remember, yeah, here, yeah, just even one lanch connector is going to do so much work. Uh, the emergency repairs. I mean, I moved my, my units because I'm scared he's going to go for a run. But to be honest, maybe that's the wrong play. Like, maybe I just focus the TC, get it down here. There's nowhere he can really run right now. But, like, I'm, I'm moving units. But even then, like, look at this. My, my unit numbers have just gone down so quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, this is... This this was... That was my one shot. So I think it just comes down to, like, mistiming. Maybe I could have just scout my enemy out a little bit better, especially the Order of the Dragon players. Just keep an eye on them, see what they're doing. And in that case where I had spotted that he was building an Elsback, just go and attack him, right? Like, go attack him, cancel the Elsback, because if once the Elsback comes up, I'm, I'm lucky he had it in the town center. If he had it in the Elsback, bro, more health on this bad boy. Not to mention he could just pop it in the outpost, get a little fortification on that. Probably could have got boiling oil if he wanted to, or, you know slate and stone construction which just ruins me completely um yeah it's uh th that was not easy uh we 100 percent could have just sniped out red down here as well like this this was an easy snipe um and you know this is just a consequence of, of me feeling insecure with pink and not trusting him so maybe i've got to think less like myself and just think more of you know okay maybe pink is going to be true to his word I, I guess i did get backstabbed the other game by by orange very quickly after i asked for peace on the water um, so maybe that's still fresh in my mind, but I tell you what, 
you know, uh, from now on, I think if I'm, I I do any of these challenges and there's just like three or four Order of the Dragon or Holy Roman Empire players in there, I'm just going to quit. I'm not going to bother. It's it's not possible, man. It's too hard. It's too damn hard. They're too damn strong. They're too damn strong. 